What's up Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. Now just in case if you're new here, my name's Dave. May the Schwartz be with you. And hey, did you know it's a great day to wear a watch? Today I have on the Bulova uh, Chronograph C Stars and Stripes reissue, also known as the 96K101 model. And this I have on this light blue sailcloth strap. Great pairing, so I'm giving it some wrist time today. But I'm super stoked. I got a first never before seen on the Schwartz Force channel, um, possibly the first time ever on YouTube maybe even the whole existence of the internet. This might be the biggest, newest, innovative thing to ever hit since the harnessing of alternate current <laughs> electricity. Um, just kidding, So, but it's a first for me. So one of my fellow YouTubers and content creators, Michael MC, he's got his own channel. I'm gonna link it down below as well as up here. You should definitely check him out. Uh, we met through some car videos. We both have Lexus RC350F Sports, and he saw one of my videos, I saw some of his, and that's how we started supporting each other. And he's been with the Schwartz Force early on. I wanna say since before 250 subscribers, possibly. But we got to talking, he's like, hey, I got an idea. How about I send you my entire watch collection to do a quick review on? And I'm thinking like, what? Like your whole collection? All right, so check it out. Here it is. Um, you'll notice on top is protection, Michael. I made sure that your uh, watches were well protected once they arrived, so no worries there. But he sent his whole collection. It's been in safe hands. And he gave me the option of like giving a list of all the watches he was gonna include or sending it as a surprise unboxing. And you know me, let's do the surprise. Let's see what's in here and then, um, I don't really know what to expect, but we'll make sure that we just dog everything and, and talk down about everything in this box. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll give some honest thoughts and um, I'm sure there's some stuff in here I've probably never seen before, but I'm super stoked. So without further ado, Michael, thanks again, buddy. Let's take a look at your watch collection. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get Michael's watch protection out of the way um, as you can see super generous again man I hope that's not what you actually paid to ship this out but don't worry I will gladly pay to ship everything back to you bro so uh, it's at least I can do so let's go ahead and take a look oh yeah hey real quick hashtag oh look at that it's all messed up hashtag yoga hands boom we got them yoga hands <laughs> opening okay so opening boxes with yoga hands is not easy to do I'm trying to be very careful because there's obviously someone else's watches in here. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a peek. <laughs> the mystery box of watches. I love it. And then we have, uh, looks like some uh, containers of native air from the region that Michael is in. So thanks for sending that. <laughs> I'm just messing around with you, man. Uh, we've got some packaging, safety package material. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. Okay, cool. <laughs> awesome. Let me read. I'm gonna read this off camera. Okay, so basically these are watches that were given to Michael by his stepdad. And he was he kind of mentioned that not all of them are his style. So he just wants to kind of get my thoughts on them. So let's take a quick look. Okay, so this in here says first and last. Okay, so first we'll start with first. I'm gonna actually move this out of the way. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I checked that out first. All right, so here we go, first. Dun, dun, dun. I'm like, dude, I'm so excited to see what we got here. So here's the first watch. So I'm seeing a nice rubber strap. Okay. This is an Invicta. Okay, so let me get in close here. Check that out. So this is like a, uh, definitely kind of reminds me of like those Russian divers because um, of the crown for sure, how it has that knurling on there. And then look at the size of this thing, just huge. Okay, so let's open her up. So the watch strap looks like it says uh, DNA on there. Hopefully that's coming through. DNA. And this is a pretty substantial strap. Kind of reminds me of like a Bell and Ross, the way it tapers down. Um, so I like that. And look at these teeth, the way it, oh, that's pretty unique. Okay, so I haven't seen a strap like this. It's good and bad, obviously, because it means you can't just throw any strap on to replace it or upgrade it with. But that's pretty cool the way it ties in, kind of looks like a, 
the mask of Bane, um, or kind of like, uh, what's the, like the Punisher, you know, the skull, the little teeth there. I, I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> so, and then we see that this is actually held in the lugs with these screws. Um, we got the Invicta branding there on the crown. Cool, so getting up close, look at that carbon fiber dial. So I know he was mentioning not all these watches are his style. I don't think that I would, you know, it's not really my style either, but check that out. This is on my seven inch wrist. It actually fits, you know, not too terribly. I think because there's not a big bezel on the watch. Um, let me see. It's not a screw down crown. We have day and date complications, which is cool. We see that's a quartz watch ticking there. I wanted to test out if this was sapphire or mineral, and it is mineral crystal. Definitely has that diverse style look to it. And the water resistance, 100 meters water resistance. So you could definitely get this thing wet, no problem. But yeah, check that out. All stainless steel, water resistant. And this is part of the Invicta DNA Carbon Collection. Sweet. All right, watch number one. I'm just gonna set that back there. All right, so this is the next watch, the Pulsar. And again, I'm not too familiar with the brand Pulsar, so I, I don't really know what to expect, but I can tell from the weight of this thing, <laughs> it feels like it weighs half a pound. Um, it's pretty big too. So let's just, I'm curious, let's see. The thickness on this bad boy is 17 and a half, almost 18 millimeters thick. The lug to lug height is, let me see almost 51 millimeters. So I wonder if, uh, if Michael's stepdad, he may, he might have some big wrist cause this is like, let me just see on the, my wrist. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Takes up like almost the, the length of my, the width of my wrist. And then with that strap coming over it, but you know, this feels really sporty. Um, it looks like, what is this tack meter toggle? This almost seems more like a smartwatch. Um, what's cool is, okay, so I see some little waves back here. So definitely 100 meters water resistant. So you can get this watch wet uh, without really any, any problems, obviously not diving. But uh, if we go to, what is this mode? Okay, so we got altitude, weather, chronograph, I'm guessing that starts it. Huh. Uh, okay, so I guess you can time your runs. Yeah, timer, alarm. Wow, um, man. <laughs> so this watch just seems like more like a smartwatch with all the features and stuff that it has. So I don't really know too much about Pulsar. I know that they have some really cool digital watches from back in the day, uh, like the vintage ones. And I don't really see too much on them now. I know that I think they have some cheaper ones and then some expensive ones. Uh, but so I'm not sure where this one falls in between, but I do like the kind of color that it has. I like this black like outer bezel. It doesn't rotate, uh, but that's kind of cool. And then we see the stainless steel case and it's super chunky there. And then this again, carbon fiber kind of pattern that we see on the rubber strap. This doesn't look like, I don't know if this is OEM. This might be aftermarket because it doesn't say Pulsar on it, um, but it definitely fits the lugs fine. Um, so yeah, sporty little digital watch, man. Pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> it's different for sure. And you guys know I don't have a whole lot of digital watches in my collection, so I'm not sure. Like this might be, you know, if you're not into G-Shocks, maybe something like this is more your style. So awesome, man. Let's take a look at this one. Woo, look at the size of this thing, man. Oh yeah. So got another Invicta. This is like another uh, Russian diver style watch for sure with this crown protector. Man, this thing is huge. Wow, okay, let's take a look. <laughs> so we see huge strap, um, calf leather and Victor branding. Yeah, so this is part of the Cordoba collection. If I'm not mistaken, the Cordubas are actually pretty expensive when they're new, like, the, you know, not considering the marking down and everything with Invicta, but I think if you try and buy some of these new, they're pretty pricey. Um, we see Japanese chronograph, 200 meters water resistance, so definitely a diver. And then it's got the model number here, Flame Fusion Crystal, which is their kind of hardened mineral glass crystal. Um, look at those subdials. Kind of looks like a little snowman with the hands. <laughs> That's cool. And then we see the little date there. Man, again, this is another chunky watch. Uh, let's look at this crown protector. Yeah, cool. And they got a little baby crown there. Nice. 
Um, so this looks like it, yeah, it's a chronograph as well. Okay, so we started the chronograph and we see it counts up to an hour. So we got seconds at the top sub dial and then minutes at the bottom. Let me go ahead and close this back up. Oh, I see why that, I was wondering why that one uh, chronograph pusher was so thin and tall, but it's because it goes through that little link. Oh, man, you know, it, it looks cool, I gotta say. It's not necessarily, I know Michael was saying this, some of these aren't his style, and this isn't really my style. Like, I wouldn't buy this watch myself, but I like that they didn't do the engraving of Invicta on the side, um, you know, just because you see it in a lot of them, and I, I personally like the cleaner look of the uh, brushing, you know, just having the side of the case plain. Um, even Blanc Pond, they etched their branding on the side, and I kind of wish that it was just plain as well. So it's not like it's only Invicta or, you know, uh, cheaper brands or anything like that that do it. I mean, luxury brands do it too. So, but I will say the cream color on this dial actually looks really good with that black. And then look at that pattern on the dial. It almost reminds me of like graph paper. Yeah, it's kind of like um, tiles, you know, with little, little dots in between each of them. Uh, there's like that optical illusion with the lines and the, the gray lines and there's no black dots in between but when you're looking you see them or I don't know how it works vice versa one of those <laughs> so this is actually pretty cool um, I like that you have 12 4 and 8 so they split it up in thirds and I have seen other watches that have done that um, instead of just going with the 3 6 9 12 so that's pretty cool little offset with the you know symmetry of it but then we have the sub dials are perfectly centered in the middle as well Let's get some measurements. So case thickness is actually thinner. So this case isn't that thick. It's only 14, I say that right, General, relatively speaking. Um, okay, so we got a case thickness of 14 and a half and then the lug to lug, this thing is gonna be, let me see here. Holy smokes, 60 millimeters. <laughs> case diameter is 52 and then with that crown guard, it is putting us right at 60. So let's just see, let's entertain on the wrist. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dang, yeah, it's hanging over. <laughs> Look at that thing. If you needed to um, break a child or a dog out of someone's car that's locked in, you could easily use this watch and I'm pretty sure it would come out unscathed. This thing is massive. Look at that, boom. Yeah, so I wouldn't be able to pull this off. Even if I did purchase it, I'd have to not keep it based on the fact it's bigger than my wrist. So if you have a probably seven and a half, eight inch wrist, you could uh, definitely wear this one. But unfortunately, seven inch wrist, I cannot pull it off. Cool watch nonetheless. So thanks for letting me review those. That was the three out of the bag marked first. Okay, so here we have the bag named last. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll start on this side. Oh yeah, this feels heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, holy smokes. Look at this thing, whoa. Okay, so this is another Invicta, bro. This probably weighs <laughs> like three pounds, um, dang. Okay, I don't wanna let's see how this, there we go. So milled class this is already a nicer watch, just the, sh the sheer weight and um, construction of it. And this is like something you wanna be careful taking off so the weight doesn't just swing around your wrist and, and crack your table in half, as we see here. <laughs> um, man, look at this thing. So I'm not gonna lie, this is an eye grabbing watch. And you know, Invictas are one of those things, those brands again, and this is a clear case of either love it or you hate it. But you know, even though like we were saying, it's probably not his style, it's not really my style, I can't knock the fact that this thing just, it looks pretty cool um, in terms of that, I don't know, it's almost like mother or black mother of pearl or abalone kind of uh, effect that we see there on the dial. And then we just did my review with the Mickey Mouse. We got another one here with the chronograph. So this time with the, uh, it actually is more of a Mickey Mouse because the sub dial at six o'clock is larger. <laughs> so screw down crown. That's pretty cool. And we are looking at an interesting date. Yeah, so an interesting day complication, day of the week. It's kind of cool to see it wrap around the top like that. I'm interested to see how that works. And then it looks like we do have a chronograph as well. Yeah, that's our running seconds hands at six o'clock and this is Swiss made, wow. So the fact you're getting a Swiss made Invicta 
Um, oh, these are, yeah, these pushers are also screwed down. Well, let's go ahead and open those up. Okay. So there we go, our chronograph ticking away at 12, and then we see that's our uh, split seconds running at the three o'clock sub dial. Let's go ahead and stop it, I'll reset it, everything goes back. Hang on, bear with me, because I know you guys are thinking what I'm thinking is, I wanna see what happens on Saturday, does it just swing all the way back to Sunday? So let's find out. Hey, it sure does, all right, so yeah, swings back to Sunday. That's pretty cool, man. This is this watch has a lot going on and we got the date there and we saw how it was switching through um, Man, screw down crown and pushers and then let's see what information we have. So Swiss made water resistant to What's that say? So water resistant 200 meters And this is one of the Invicta reserves. I know that the Invicta reserve line are almost always um, pretty pricey um, same with like the venom and so I know reserve, they tend to be a little bit more expensive. And the fact that this one is Swiss made uh, probably makes it an even more expensive watch. So this is really cool. And then there you go. we got the branding there etched into the side, like I mentioned. And then look at the, the way these bolts are held in. Um, man, so the blue and the gold, and then with that kind of black uh, mother of pearl effect, man, this watch is cool. If this is your style, you probably automatically fell in love with this watch but I wanna see on the wrist, how does it wear? <laughs> oh man, that is, it feels like those like cuffs that they have on, um, is it face off? They have it on his like, his ankles, those like ankle cuffs that are like oh, magnetized. I feel like this is what it is. Like if uh, any second it's just gonna be like swoop and like grab me to the ground and, and hold me there <laughs> with, like, with super earth magnets. Uh, man, this is cool. So I got to be careful taking it off because all the weight will definitely swing down. Let's get some measurements, guys. I know you're curious. And we're going to include the measurement just to the top here, and then we'll look at with the bolt. So, all right. So 17.6 millimeters. If we include that little bolt area, we are right at 19 millimeters. Um, the lug is... 30 millimeters, is that right? 30? Sure is, 30 millimeter lug width, and we have a case diameter of 55.4 with the crown screwed in. Case diameter is 64, and then the lug to lug height is 66, oh, there we go. Lug to lug height is 66 and a half. So this thing is a monster of a watch. All right, so let's get that out of the way. Okay, check out this one. This is different. I don't think I've seen this style before. Um, this is pretty cool. All right, so it's another Invicta. It's got a rubber strap with these, uh, I don't know, they're like screw bars that go through the, like behind the lugs or in front of the lugs. Uh, I guess that holds it in place to keep it angled downward, huh? Okay, so let's take a look. So this is a Invicta Aviator. What information do we have here? Stainless steel case, Swiss parts movement, and 100 meters of water resistance. So cool. All of these watches so far have been, um, yeah, geared towards you know rugged tool type watches that you can get wet, not have to worry about. And then again, the Flame Fusion Crystal. And this also has a crown guard on it. So it looks like Michael's stepdad was into, yeah, having those crown guards um, to protect the crown. So I wonder if there's a story there with maybe, you know, something happened to a crown on, maybe he had a Briston Clubmaster and it, uh, he knocked it against something and it ripped the crown right off. So I could totally see that having an impact on uh, wanting to protect your crown forward, going forward. That's cool, that little jet on the crown and it's like, it's like filled in uh, with with paint. Um, that's kind of neat. I like the look of that. And then let's see. It's not a chronograph. Bezel is fixed. So I do like the jet design that we have on the dial. And then look at that. Seconds hand has that kind of unique. Um, I don't know what that is. 
huh like a little tuning fork kind of thing i think it's supposed to my so just looking at the watch i think what it's supposed to do is fit on each of those tick marks for the minute indices but it's just a little off center but I think that's what it's supposed to do is line up with those in between it. Uh, and then we see compass, northeast, southwest. And yeah, wow. So this is different. Definitely uh, something I haven't seen before. And this case thickness here is 16. It's got a diameter. Case diameter is 47.8 with the crown and the crown guard. It is 55 and a half. And then lug to lug is 56, say 57, but obviously where it at its widest point, it's 70. <laughs> oh my gosh. So let's get this on the wrist and see. It definitely hangs past my, my wrist. So I think it looks a little off because of that. Um, that's just, again, me, not, not really my style either, but pretty cool watch nonetheless. Um, I want to kind of show Wellesley's all these watches. I feel like he would be like, yes, that's that's my style because he has huge wrists. Like all of these are going to be, <laughs> he'd probably like all of these watches because he can pull them off. All right, cool, man. So we'll get that one on the side. Dang, look at this thing. <laughs> wow. Okay, so another Invicta. I think this is the Venom. Um, wow, I can even catch that flash of AR coating on there. Nice. Uh, let's see, milled clasp, yeah, Invicta Reserve, and let's look at some details here. So we have the Invicta Reserve, yep, Venom indication there on the case back, all stainless steel, a flame fusion crystal, a Swiss made chronograph, part of the reserve, water meter, oh, water resistance a thousand meters. Holy smokes, that is pretty impressive 1000 meters of water resistance no kidding uh, screw down crown you know it's funny i had always um liked the reserve venom series when i was you know younger i just thought it looked so cool there was like an all blacked out one it looked very tactical um but look at the size of this thing man it is a beast yeah this kind of reminds me of like you know some sort of alien plate armor. <laughs> it's awesome. Wow. It's cool. I got to give it to him. I, you know, you, again, Invictas aren't everyone's cup of tea, but, and this is a mineral crystal, but you know, the fact that it's got an AR coating and there's some Swiss made. Yeah. It even says here, Swiss made. So we have a Swiss chronograph. It's a Swiss made watch, uh, screw down pushers. This thing is so awesome. Okay, here we go. Boom. Yep, so we got that second hand going. Sub seconds will stop. So it's keeping track of it even though it's not running. That's obviously to save battery. And then it resets. Nice. Running second hand down below at six o'clock. And then it looks like the chronograph goes up to 30 minutes. Um, Hmm, interesting. Got date window there at four o'clock. And then it looks like there is loom on this watch as well. Hang on. Yeah, so it is loomed. So it's not the greatest loom, but it is there. And again, AR coating we can see there with that blue uh, tint. So that's kind of nice. And man, bezel does rotate. Let's see. There's like no back play. This thing is solid. 120 click bezel. Feels very substantial. And then the yeah, solid clasp. I mean, the these links are are solid. And it looks like there is a is that a diver's extension? Oh no, no, that's just huh. I guess that's the way the latch system works. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so that's how it releases that little clip there. All right, let's get it on the wrist. <laughs> Boom. So this thing is just hugging your wrist and look at the thickness, <laughs> how, how tall that is. Wow, I'm kind of gonna, I'm gonna surprise my wife. I don't know which one I wanna walk downstairs with on the wrist, probably this one or this one 
and seeing what she thinks <laughs> be like, give me your honest opinion. Okay. So let me take this off. Let's get some measurements. Case thickness on the Invicta Reserve Venom is boom, 21.4. Um, <laughs> the case diameter before the crown is 52 and with the crown screwed in it is 60 and then we have a lug to lug of 61 huge watch so again um all of these watches are large so um again you're going to be kind of limited in wrist size and just to show you like my chronograph that the Bulova, this is 46 millimeters without the lugs and you can see just how much larger these watches are. And this is one of my largest in my collection. So um, yeah, really cool, Michael. Um, man, these are some cool watches. I love that you have two that are actually Swiss made. You know, yeah, people are gonna be like, oh, they're Invicta. I mean, they're Swiss made, like that's pretty legit. Um, but thanks for letting me take a look at your collection, sending it in and just letting me give my thoughts on it overall. I think they're really cool looking watches. They're definitely different and outside of the norm from what I own and what I tend to gravitate towards, but it's allowed me to really get an appreciation for, if you're into these watches, they are solid and pretty well built from what I can tell. Um, these are watches you don't have to worry about being careful with other than the mineral glass crystal, but other than that, these things seem like they're just gonna take a beating and, and work without any problems. I think out of them, the one that is probably the safest I could wear um, without any issues would be this one here with the, uh, just cause it's the smallest out of them. And then of course the Pulsar, but again, I don't really wear a whole lot of digital watches. So I don't really see myself wearing this personally, but I think it's cool. Thanks again, Michael. I will get with you and make sure that you get your collection back safe and sound. And then of course, to my Schwartz Force, thanks for being with me and, and taking part in this first for the channel, reviewing an entire collection of someone and it being another YouTuber. So do me a favor, head on over to Michael's YouTube channel, subscribe to him, show some love as a thank you for sending his collection to us. I would really appreciate that. And of course, if you haven't joined the Schwartz Force yet, be part of the family, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought, which one was your favorite watch and why. And also if they're not your style, like, you know, of course, what is it that you don't like about the watches? I'm just curious. Um, that way I can kind of get some feedback on the collection overall, but please keep in mind, these are someone else's collection that was given to him. And, you know, just keep that in mind, please, when making your comments. So as always, may the Schwartz be with you, and I will look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. Take care.